Mr. Kasubai, I, uh, my favorite author is James Baldwin. Would you uh, love his books, quote from his books, would you make the presumption that I agree with everything James Baldwin has said? I wouldn't presume that, Senator. I read uh, my colleague J.D. Vance's book, Hillbilly Elegy. I have bought it for other people. Would you think and ascribe to me all the views of my colleague J.D. Vance? No, sir. Um, I have a little, uh, forgive me, this is a little petty, I'm about to do this, but uh, I have bought Senator Cotton's book. I bought it because he didn't give it to me. Uh, <laughs> that's the petty part, I apologize. It's actually I'll still a real sign it for you there if you want to. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> um, but it is actually pretty extraordinary. Uh, Senator Cotton uh, surprised me. He's quite a historian. Um, would you ascribe to me all the views of Senator Cotton? No, sir. Even if I've quoted from his book. But you should. <laughs> Even if I've quoted from his book, would you do that? I would not, sir. So the book that's been brought up, How to Be an Anti-Racist, which was on Time Magazine's must-read list, which was a runaway best-selling book, uh, would it be a mistake for anybody to ascribe to you all the views of the author? It would. Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 I agree. There's some points in the book that are worth quoting, and I, I, can't, I don't remember what I imagine I may have, but there are definitely parts of the book that I don't agree with as well, and I, that, that's the same for you. It, it, it is correct, sir. Um, does my race matter? Without going into a couple of hours of a conversation, uh, Senator, it, it depends on both the person as well as how people perceive them. But isn't that the, that, that the point? Like, what a, what a cr crazy question. My race, does it matter? It's, it's such a hotbed of, 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 of discussion in America now. It's often very polarizing. But the truth of the matter is it's part of my identity. I'm a Christian. I'm an American. I'm a black guy. And uh, to me, obviously, those are identifying features that matter. Uh, within the criminal justice system, uh, would it be fair uh, to have a judiciary that did not have African Americans? It's important for diversity to be represented on the bench. Experience is the life of the law. Right, because the law is independent in many ways, should be, I should say, independent of racial reasoning when applying the facts of the law, right? Correct. But, but I've seen lots of studies, you don't need to comment on, about implicit racial bias in the law. We know from the data that uh, if you control for other factors, income, uh, uh, geography, education, that African Americans in the criminal justice system have tended to get longer sentences for similar crimes. Are you aware of that research? I'm, I'm aware of that research. Right, and, and so the, the idea that uh, diversity uh, is important to talk about to have a criminal justice system that reflects the diversity of the population. Many people, even if it's just for the matter of faith in the system of minority groups, one would say that diversity is very important, yes? Absolutely. Um, but I think the, there's a, 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 at least a spirit that I'm feeling that, that your views on the importance of diversity, the urgency, I would say, of diversity, uh, um, that your understanding that the legitimacy of the courts, your understanding that everybody from Harvard Business School to consulting companies like McKinsey have said diverse teams are better teams, there's some kind of confusion with perhaps those so strong beliefs and your ability to be an objective judge in legal matters and to apply the law. And I would just like to ask you, um, when it comes to the cases that come before you, what is the process by which you go about to coming to conclusions? Senator, uh, it's a very stringent, stringent and rigorous process. It starts with reading the briefs and then reading them again and making sure I understand the issues that have been raised before me, the law that is being applied and invoked by the parties, uh, and then working through each and every one of those arguments and understanding the rules that are being invoked and, and testing, testing the hypotheses that the parties are making in their arguments right. over and over and over yes. again. And so I, I don't need to go through the rigorous processes, but I just, you don't care what their pronouns are when you're applying the law. Absolutely not. You don't care the color of their skin when you're applying the law. Most certainly not. Yeah, you are applying the law 
even though you do believe, like most of the people around this day, is that having diverse teams is a good thing for America. When it comes to doing your job, you have a rigorous processes of which these things don't enter. You said it better than I could. Th 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 thank you very much. The last thing I just want to say is uh, uh, to uh, Jamal Semper, um, your mother is extraordinary. Is that true or false? <laughs> that is a trick question. S Senator, you're, you're under oath, yes. S Senator, before God and country, uh, my mother is quite extraordinary. Um, uh, she is an immigrant to this country, yes? Yes, yes, she is. Um, she has two extraordinary uh, children, from my understanding, right? She does. You and your, your brother. Yes. Um, your, your brother uh, got cancer in his 9-11 related uh, heroism, yes? Yes, yes, he is. Yes, yes, he has. And, and he has been supportive of you because he's the older brother, right? Yes, uh, he and my mother helped put me through law school. I'm incredibly grateful for them. Right, right. So you will do right by this country if you, should you get this position? Senator, if I am fortunate enough to be confirmed for this position, I will do all that I can to serve. And, and you will do right by your mama, right? I, I have and I will. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.